Welcome to the video on humoral versus cell-mediated immunity. The humoral immune response is all about the B cells and antibodies. Its main function is to provide immediate protection against many bacteria and viruses. Since antibodies are produced from plasma cells, this is why this type of immunity gets its name. The Greek word humor refers to body fluid. Once a pathogen enters the body, then either the primary or the secondary immune response would happen, as we reviewed in the previous video. I want to elaborate a bit further on that topic, though, in regard to the antigen-antibody binding. So when a large molecule enters the body, it usually comes with many different antigens. Antibodies recognize very specific areas on that molecule, which are called epitopes or antigenic determinants. The matching area on the antibody is called the paratope or antigen binding site. Examples of humoral immunity include anaphylactic shock, eczema, transfusion reactions, and bacterial viral infections. A cell mediated response happens after a T cell recognizes a specific antigen. It's also called delayed hypersensitivity. The main immune cells involved are, of course, the T cells, macrophages, and NK cells. Like the humoral response, the cellular response protects against bacteria and viruses, and also protects against tumor cells and fungi. Examples of conditions evoking a cell-mediated immune response are toenail fungus, tuberculosis, contact dermatitis, and transplant rejection.